What's cracking, folks? Stogies here. Today I'm going to be telling a story about the first time that I ate mushrooms. I'm probably going to have some Splitgate gameplay or some shit like that running in the background. So this story takes place when I was 17, right before I was going off to boot camp in the army. There's like a lot of stories in this time period because I couldn't smoke, so I was just doing a bunch of wild stuff with my friends and just seeing what I could do to have fucking fun because my whole life before that, or at least since I was like 13, I was smoking and shit with them. So yeah, I was pretty much just drinking every single day at this point, and that's just what I was doing, going to parties and shit like that. But one day, I had this relative coming over, and I happened to know that he used to do mushrooms a shitload. So I called him up, I'm like, yo, hook me up, I'm trying to get some shrooms. And he was able to, so he brought him over, called up one of my buddies, I was like, yo, you trying to do mushrooms? And he's like, fuck yeah, I'm trying to do mushrooms. So I told him to come over. We didn't get that much mushrooms. That many mushrooms? I don't fucking know. But yeah, we got like probably four, 4.2 grams. It was just a little bit over an eighth. And generally for one person, you want to take an eighth. So this wasn't like going to be crazy by any means. Like this was the first time I did mushrooms, but not the first time I straight like tripped ass on them. Like this was very body a little bit on the mental side but not very like there was no visuals with it so my buddy ends up coming over and I was already pretty fucking drunk by the time he got over like I was relatively trash I drank like a liter or some shit I remember it was pinnacle something but yeah I like grabbed the bag I showed him we were all hype as shit we're looking at it like oh, let's do some fucking mushrooms and I'm like fuck yeah so I was super excited and shit I took like a fat swig off the bottle and then I went to eat the first piece, and I just remember, like, pure disgust. I was just so sad. <laughs> I was so fucking sad of how they tasted. I don't care what anyone tells you. Mushrooms do not taste good. These are not portobello. These are not shiitake mushrooms. These taste like shit. Like, I'm pretty sure they legitimately grow on cow shit, usually. Like, they taste disgusting. Cow shit is the most comparable thing you can say that tastes to them. Like, it is atrocious. Like, I've tried them on sandwiches. People say, like, peanut butter sandwiches. You put them in there, crush them up. Like, no, it just tastes like a peanut butter and shit sandwich. It is not the move. The only thing to get around the taste, really, I'd say, like, I can handle it. I'm fine with it now. But, like, people I know used to, like, grind it up in, like, mortar pestle type shit, make it like a powder and put it in these capsules, and then those obviously you ain't tasting, but what I normally do is I crumple them up in a ball, and I swallow it like a pill, because then it don't get all stuck in your teeth, you're picking at it with your fucking tongue all night, and it's just, it's just not a good experience, man. So we each take like probably like two grams, I remember we got to the end of the bag, and I tried to do some like cool shit on video, I don't know if I still have it, if so, I'll try to throw it up or something, but like, I t there was just a little bit of crumbs in the bottom of the bag, a little powder, and just mushroom crumbs and I like wanted to have a video of me like dumping all the powder in my mouth and then washing it down with like a big sip off the bottle and I remember just like pouring the powder in my mouth and it just coats my tongue and I couldn't even go near the bottle I just like oh, I was so grossed out so yeah we took them and then I was just cooling there I was chilling taking some sips off my bottle listening to some music just waiting for them to kick in and then I could finally, like, start to feel it set in. And at the beginning, it felt kind of like like a weed high for a little while. Like, it just felt real stoned for a bit. And then, I just remember giggling that stupid shit. I was just kind of sitting there, chuckling to myself in the chair. And I was like, oh, shit. These things be hitting now. And I was pretty hype. I was waiting for the visuals and stuff. They were never to come. But, you know, whatever. It was still cool. <laughs> and... I ended up uh, feeling, like, really anxious, I remember, though. Like, not anxious, like, anxiety, like, mentally, but, like, anxious, like, my body was anxious. My legs could not stop moving. I just remember walking in place and shit, and my friend was like, yo, because I think he took a little less than me, and maybe some people just don't experience this, but I'm not sure as hell I did. I just couldn't stop moving my legs. I was just like kicking them forward and stuff and just walking in place and shit walking around the room was pacing and stuff but like I wasn't like 
I wasn't like really anxious. Like it was still fun. I just I just didn't want my legs to stop moving. They felt all tingly and shit. So I ended up going outside with my dog and my friend and like just walking up and down the sidewalk. And I was supposed to go hang out with some girls like in an hour or so. Me and my friend were going to split up. But some, something just hit me. I was like, I don't think my dick work. So I was just like complexed by this. I was like, what's going on here? And I ended up calling the guy who gave him to me, and I'm like, yo, does this stuff make your dick not work? And he's like, man, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, you know? You'll see, and I'm just like, damn, I don't think my dick works. So I ended up just not going to hang out with those girls, and we ended up wanting to walk to this kid's house. And this kid, I've never been to his house. Like, I barely know him. I have no idea why I decided to do this. Like, this house was not close. It was, like, two miles away from my house. And it was fucking freezing cold out. Late as shit. But my legs wanted to move, so I guess I could not have cared less. And we, like, got on our backpacks, put the bottle in there, put some weed in there for my friend. And we just sent it. We just fucking walked over to this kid's house. It's in, like, this weird, like, very goody neighborhood closer to mine. And I've, like, never really been up there. And it was really weird. I remember walking there. And, like, it wasn't visual visual, but stuff did feel a little bit brighter. Lights were more glary. And just everything felt, like, kind of surreal in a way. It just felt different. And I remember walking through there and just, like, feeling like I was in a movie the whole time I was walking. But yeah, so we're walking down that road, long as hell, and we both see this, like, big flash, and he's like, bro, did you see that flash? And I'm like, yo, I saw that shit. And he's just like, we're tripping in sync, bro. And I was like, oh, shit. And I know, that's not how that shit works, but I was sure as hell convinced it was in the moment. We were fucking loving it. Everything just felt, it just felt different. It felt wild. It was really cool. It was really cool. But yeah, we're walking down the street and I see this little thing moving and I'm like, what's that? And then I saw, I'm like, it's a fucking frog. And I was so hyped to see this frog, yo. There was something just calling me to that damn frog that night. So I started like following the frog and it just kind of was chilling there looking at me and it let me pick it up. And I was just like, Yo, I'm holding this frog. <laughs> and I just held the frog in my hand. It just kind of like sat on the palm of my hand. And it walked with us for like the other mile of that road. And we get to this kid's house. We like go behind it. He has this little sliding door. It's like 2 a.m. We're knocking on it, trying not to wake up his grandfather. Let's us in. <laughs> and I don't know why I felt the urge to. Don't call Pete on me here, but I didn't like throw it. But I threw the frog on him. Like, he went in there, he sat in his chair, he didn't notice I had the frog on him in my hand. And I just, just kind of tossed it onto him. And the kid really didn't like me. I don't, I don't know why we were at this kid's house whatsoever, but <laughs> he was like, Yo, what the fuck? And he started freaking out because the frog just kind of hopped off and hopped under his chair and was just chilling in his room. And I just remember this kid being so absolutely pissed off that we just let the frog out of his room. I don't think for the whole night we ended up finding the frog, but I know at some point he did find it, I just don't think it happened when we were there. So after that, I just remember the kid kind of being a dick, he was just being weird, he was like being completely silent, everything he did say was kind of complaining about something, and like, I know, like why was I there? But he invited us there for some reason, so I don't know why he was then bitching the whole time about like everything, we weren't being like super loud or anything, but kid just wasn't the vibe at the time and we ended up calling up one of our other buddies and having him come over and we just kind of drank with him at that kid's house and just didn't really talk much to the kid's house we were actually at so we did that for like a couple hours and nothing really like crazy happened shrooms wise like everything I saw visual was just kind of lights just being brighter everything felt a little bit more saturated and stuff but other than that I was just I was just pretty drunk 
And we ended up going to leave. I remember we took, like, a few of his grandfather's beers. God, you're such dickheads. But we get out there, and it's, like, starting to get light at that point. The shroom is, like, completely going away. I'm not really feeling much anymore. But I was still pretty drunk. And I went to go piss, like, in the back of this kid's yard. And I turn around because I hear the noise, like, little... That was a horrible noise, but just little dribbles. I turn around and my buddy is pissing at this kid's pool. He had like one of those, you know, built in pools in his backyard, one of those bougie ass things. And my buddy just pissed all in it. I started dying. I found it so funny at the time. <laughs> but yeah, we just ended up like walking home. We split up on the way back. I went back home and I drank a little bit more. So, no, that wasn't that crazy, but. Just thought it was a cool story to tell. First time I did take the mushrooms. If you want to hear about the first time I tripped, like, balls on them, I'm sure I'll be telling that soon. And I have a bunch of other things I did around that time. I was doing Xanax, Ketamine, Molly, a bunch of crazy shit around that time that I can go into. And I'm sure I will at some point. I have a bunch of other stories, too. I'd love to get to them at some point, and I'm sure I will. This just, I don't know, I was just drawn to this one to be the first one to tell. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you watched all the way through, if you leave a like, be the fucking bomb, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.